him back. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Dire Team Pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to pick. Bang. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Outworld devourer. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to back. Phantom Lancer. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team ban.
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to pick. Sky Wrath Mage. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. You may now select your heroes. Ten seconds remaining. Apparently these last couple of patches have completely changed Dota here because these drafts that we've been seeing in this event have definitely been something. I'm Breaky CPK, joined by Grant Grant. We got game number one, Secret versus Navi. Grant, 
What the hell's happening? I don't know. Uh, I'm interested. It's not even just the techies pick. It's right the Wraith King support pick with techies in the first thing, and then you end it with the Slark. Like they're just bringing. Obviously, we saw Slark a lot with Liquid. <laughs> Liquid they won one, twice, lost, yeah. Yeah, won one, one lost one. But I, obviously, the techies thing we have yeah. seen it once. Complex. They just failed. They they failed with it. And from what I've heard from, I mean, take this with a grain of salt from a, a bunch of NA pros. They say you run techies in the off lane and you just, well, you don't run him as the off lane. You run him as the four and you just get someone who can lock someone down like an underlord and all that. And yeah, I mean, they don't really have that. Right. And he's, he's actually going safe lane, but blast off, obviously. Well, that's a pretty damn good skill. You just kill someone you kill yourself <laughs> they get no gold you guys get golden experience you, you win the lane yeah. it's so obviously there's just so much to say about techies and he's going to be the big focus no doubt of this match right here uh, my, my biggest thing with techies is that in your typical pub game yes techies is inarguably in my opinion the most annoying hero to play against Easily. or with yeah. however on a competitive level i've seen some does some decent techies play you know, not obviously in actual tournament matches before but uh in some higher tier games and it's it is pretty impressive and you mentioned already with that level one blast off that's one of the things we should expect in an atmosphere like this because it does so much damage i mean you already whatever the points anyways we also have a puppy wraith king i mean the techies is like overtaking the fact that we have a support wraith king here yeah, as well I, mean, I bet kyle's super happy he's the one who's saying like wraith king support is gonna is gonna be the king and i was like well they're gonna run it as a four but obviously techies more of that kind of thing he's gonna get the farm and puppy well well, puppy's just gonna run in and die a lot yeah. i have a feeling throw a stun die and that's his job that's that's a great hero to do it on right yeah he's got the skeletons to push it's gonna be interesting to see how that comes about we also have a dendy sky wrath I'm mage. Excited. yet another thing with the io with the the analysts were talking about that on the panel a little bit uh the io sky wrath synergy again you don't normally think io sky wrath with an io but you like yep. ursa tiny whatever but there definitely is that there with the uh with the sky wrath as well but you see him off the bat he's with general currently at the bottom lane yeah and you know io Beastmaster. i mean it's it's one of the strongest lanes you, ju you just sit there and you right click you throw you just spam level one axes you knock mm -hmm. them out of the lane use all the regen and then you, you just have a lead because beastmaster obviously can just dominate a lane with those new wild axes puppy but, yeah. finding himself at the top lane i'm excited though like he said i think lebron's gonna be one of those two we're gonna see a lot of i think nightmare just avoid the suicides well th there was a good point brought up about that though you know yeah. this, i believe this capitalist making the, the the point on that where as if he's envisioned, sure, but yeah. I mean, there is a sound cue, I think, but when, if he's hiding in the trees, it could be much more difficult. Uh, you have to be really fast in those fingers right here. So that is going to be another curious interaction that we can expect to see with the techies in is, that case versus the is, Bane. Is, is there a sound cue? I honestly, the well, only that's time... Well, he was saying, I, at least, yeah, as far as the channel up goes. Yeah, I but. play with... The only time I play with or against is when I play with Sir Action Slacks on my <laughs> team, and I tell him, if you come to my lane with techies, I'm just going to abandon. <laughs> so he always just goes to the other lane, I never hear from him again, which, which is great. Yeah. But, I, I mean, Actually not 100% because the way Capitalist put it though made it seem like that there was so uh, yeah maybe maybe not but anyways Yapster playing and he sees getting a little bit of jungle and even clearing out all the trees from Beastmaster right there but you see some mines down so obviously level two having the mines down how is that mid matchup going it's six and five OD versus a five and five Skyrath right now it has been a true one versus one for the most part here um, is this kind of as expected you think it should be he's not going orb yet he just went zero one one and I mean obviously Dendi he's not even trying to harass right now he's just using his uh he just used it to harass or just last hit currently like yeah you don't want to waste mana on that you know eventually you're gonna run out of mana and you're in trouble unless your io is sitting middle with you you do have mana problems early speaking of io he is rotating to the middle he does have a double damage rune i mean any hero this early on in the game with a double damage rune is pretty scary so yep. od having to respect that wraith king in the area but here we go mid one I'm guessing, okay, he does have the imprisonment. Gonna use it on the Skyrath. Keep on running. Puppies nearby for the sun as well. And actually, turn kill on Isle is gonna be happening. That'll be first blood for Secret. And Dendi also has to be careful. Puppy, I think that stun cooldown's gonna be a little too long, but great turn. That's just, I mean, and that's why I see it's a tier one team, right? Like, you just, you yeah. have a, a position five Wraith King just casually strolling through middle. They're gonna get first blood on you. You turn it around and you get the first blood instead. That's just. Great, great awareness, Matt. Awareness by Puppy. Well, that, on top of the fact that Io was missing during yeah. that time, you know, may, I don't know if they saw him pick up the double damage rune, but uh, in perhaps more information to go with Doom, by the way. He is dropping at the top lane, it looks like. You see Bane hero blocking him a bit. Chris Lads running after him. Spirit Lance, guessing maybe going to come off cooldown soon, but no, no chase. A little too far there. Ace? He should be fine, right? Yeah. He's Just harassment. Damage, yeah. General? Oh, no. Are we going to see that blast off coming into play? The mine put down? No. He just kills it for 25 okay. gold. It, it does take a little bit. I mean, yeah. it is free gold. The app store probably is like, oh, I thought this was still Dota 1. just explodes instantly. But unfortunately, no. He's like, wait, I haven't played this hero for a yeah. while. <laughs> Whoops. It still, it still blows my mind. Wraith King, Techie's opening. Would not have expected that. Doom, top lane, putting out the net. 
Trying to keep himself alive. Going for the turn kill. Even great sleep by LeBron and himself, though. They get the kill on Doom first. And LeBron going to take some tower damage. Is that enough? It is. They at least kill him in return. So kind of a last laugh moment for Fata coming out. As a nice even going to happen there, puppy. I don't even think he can hit this rune. I think he, he went a little bit too early and they're just going to run at him. Yeah, true. Oh, one on one. No, he will steal it. All right. There you go. Wraith Fire Blast in the face. Keep on running. See, he has that uh, passive early on as well for the crits to come out. I mean, hero-wise, Navi just has better heroes, honestly. Like, a, a team of five versus team of five. Obviously, you heard Cap. He just said it over and over, and he is correct. I mean, Secret is <laughs> Secret. one of the top three teams in the world, and Navi yeah. has been struggling. But Dendi Skyroth, where he can play aggressively, do this thing, kind of not, not even dominate a lane, just win a lane, it, it's going to be good. And then IO Beastmaster, you really can't name, like, a better off lane than that. So Navi it's has the good. heroes. They just have to make it work. Still haven't seen that blast off coming to play just here from Techies. It look, I'm guessing he has a soul ring finish, gonna be going arcane boots. So the yeah, upstairs for now, he's, he's spending some jungling time and that is something that Techies can do, of course, right? You know, with those mines, I, I think especially starting with a level two mark, uh, it gets, I don't know, he's not gonna insta kill every camp by any means, but a couple of mines especially, he should be able to take those out effectively. Yep, and he's still, he's keeping his Slark safe, which is all he really needs to do because mid one, mid one, I mean, is technically losing metal, but he's still keeping up at 16 versus 20 in CS and yeah. it's not like OD is always the best laner versus some of these heroes, but he, he stays alive like we saw Astral's himself. Astral's someone just runs away. He won't die. As long as you don't die, just slowly get those last hits and you're good. I think the biggest is going to be that top lane. PL is pretty much free farming right now. Doom is only 10-1, and 1, so... Uh, PL definitely, this is one of those games he definitely can solo carry. Obviously, Techies is going to be pretty hard to go against when all your illusions <laughs> just die instantly from multiple spells. We, but. Do, do we really know? I mean, again, yeah. that this is the thing. This is uh, obviously the second yeah. example we have technically in the complexity case. It was a I mean, you can even ask it. We asked we asked the freak about yeah. it. It was just frankly an oh, awful game all, all around. It, they never really got anything going. So I, I don't think that that's a great example of the hero by any means. Uh, Ace bottom lane. Taking some good harassment now. His CS is also decent, but you're right, man. All top three S, three CS belonging on the side of Navi. And you see Puppy is finding himself down here a lot too. So this essentially has turned into like a defensive tri lane, and, and they still can't even deal with it. It doesn't work. I mean, Puppy's he's a he's a Wraith King level two. Like yeah. you you don't actually do anything. Even I O might be getting early boots after next item, but he's just gonna steal rune again. He he doesn't have a TP. No, he might die, but no nighttime. Yeah, they choose not to chase it. It would be some time spent, and Denny's like, do I even get the kill? Level, so yeah. Level two, right? King, you're like, oh, 120 <laughs> gold, and I point? could go middle and get 160 from a creep wave. You know? <laughs> there you go. No so point. he'll head back mid. You see Doom at the top lane, the double mango strat. Again, seen plenty of that in this event with the mango changes here. But uh, Fata, he's, he's been able to have a decent time at that top lane. CS-wise, maybe not so much, but again, staying alive at least. Trying to especially get that level six mark. Mid one, though. It, I don't want to call it struggling. I mean, it, CS wise, he is competing with the Skyrath, but uh, still finding himself a, a little bit behind here in the middle lane. Yeah, and he knows something's up. Uh, little just sitting there with an invis rune. If you can't tell, that's why he's not attacking, because it, <laughs> it is actually very hard to tell with that yeah. hero. But no, I, lo I loved And this is when Skyrath is the strongest, right? Laning phase is when Skyrath is the strongest. Then maybe you get like the Agonims, and that's when you hit like your next kind of point where you just start owning. You hit the double Ancient Seal, double ulti. You're in a good spot. So Dendi is playing this extremely well middle. Puppy's finding himself jungling in the dire jungle right now. And you see the skeletons are out. So he's going to continue to do that now. Not for a lot. No, Bane and Io rotating in. And Bane sets up the sleep. Can he get out of this? He, meanwhile, see at the top lane, Crystallize. He's running after Fata. Going to run after him one more time with the Phantom March on the Spirit Lance. It will successfully get the kill despite the net. Back over to Puppy. He's running away. Obviously, only level three. So no TP on top of that. No way he's getting out of there. So the support's rotating over. I think it's worth it. The skeleton's doing some good damage to Lil. I, I mean, they're not going to kill him, right? Yeah, they're <laughs> going to get him low, but uh, not low enough. Yeah, oh, my God. Oh my, so many mines. Peacemaster. <laughs> I like Avoid. He sees him. That's so smart. He, he, you, you saw him like right click the, to get the 25 gold, and then he saw Puppy TPing in. Smart play. That is a lot of gold to be farmed, though. Like, General now knows that mine's there, right? So eventually you can just go back and it's just free gold and instead. Is this a kill? The roar. This should be a kill. Yeah, Axes again. I was going to say, he already used one stack, so that's an easy kill coming up for General. So, I mean, he takes the bounty room, but obviously a pretty big cost there for Puppy. 
on the uh, on the Wraith King. Fata top lane again. He's I mentioned earlier he's doing okay. Obviously with that death now, a couple of deaths even crystallized. He's level eight. This is a free farming Phantom Lancer plus more. Yeah, and uh, I think all the panel agreed. I mean, it was an outdraft uh, technically for Navi, right? Even though Secret probably got what they wanted, but mm -hmm. I mean, hero wise, it, it's just a complete outdraft. And as long as they play that way, I, mean, I think they're going to be fine. And they're they're playing superbly right now. Ace, oh, Ace is going to go down. And the wild team. axe, as you mentioned, his shadow dance just popped right before that. Navi, this start is amazing. Io is going to barely stay alive. <laughs> the sleep is up. Yeah, he wants to kill the Aptus. He'll get the kill. He tanks some mines in the process, and he gets the hell out of there. Navi, outdraft, a bit of outplaying going on as well, oh, I think it's nice. safe to say. Yeah, but I love that, because that was the that was the mine that General saw earlier, and I love it. He, he eats one, and then he kills the other one, gets a kill, and he runs out. That's a, that's like a 400 gold swing just for an Io right there. Is it 20, It's 25 gold, 25, right? I believe yeah. I see popping up there yep. every uh, mine kill, so. 25. Plus, he just got that solo kill on the techies. So, I mean, he's going to be rich. This is going to be a rich IO, and you never want to play versus that. What the hell does... Oh, Mystic Flare, by the way. This They're going for the kill. The wand use, keeping him alive initially, but the RK Missile, I mean, that's just so much damage. Yep. The bolt hits, and, and it just evaporates him. So, I was going to get at, though, Slark is... He's doing okay. He's doing the best on his team. He's still behind all three cores on the other side, but what the hell does Slark get here early on, you think? I think he's still... Oh, wait. Ult, sorry. General ults up. Doesn't get ace, but I still think you just... You just you have to go for like the shadow blade. Sometimes you do see drums okay. into shadow blade, but I still think it's like treads, Aquila, and then just shadow blade. I don't think drums gonna do that much this game. You're yeah. just gonna get bursted so quickly by Skyrath. Top Mid one. Yeah. You know, I was gonna say even shadow. I mean, you have to get the shadow blade. It's like you have to as a slug, but it just doesn't feel like good. If they have a dust, they just dust and grip you, dust and roar you. Mm -hmm. They have two really good ultimates for a set. That a great vision team in general with the uh, with the Beastmaster of course. That hawk flying around, so yeah, this is uh not gonna why, why did they pick Slark Grant? <laughs> what is the reason for Slark you think this game? Thing. I mean you just stack him up. He he does decently in the mid game versus like all of their heroes. The problem is you have to okay. make it to the mid game with items, and I mean you just jump on top of a Beastmaster, you're gonna just stack up that agility, but yeah. It's not like you're gonna get those easy kills because Io, he's almost gonna be level six. He's just gonna be able to TP anyone out, like if they True. do go on him. That right, relocate, I'm gonna be ready to go eventually. And he's just jungling. Like Puppy's, he's is actually this is the this most is a like jungle raping yeah, right we, now. We've seen some axes, and Puppy has done more jungling than the axes. This is, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. But I mean, obviously, you one shot the creeps with that crit, feels good. You get the skeletons, and it, it does go pretty quick. He's level four. So th there is this perspective. It's techies. Uh, one of the notorious things with the techies is why he's this frankly so annoying because he can delay games forever, it feels like, to an yeah. extent. It, uh, oh. So I guess, yeah, just more gold going the way. Beastmaster, you'll miss that one. But um, is that maybe going to be the fallback plan for Secret, you think, here? Of and almost with their, They're already down 4,000 net worth at 11 minutes in. They almost have to rely on that as mid one goes down to the middle lane. Meanwhile, it looks like LeBron Dota's setting it up and Dendy's there with the flare follow up plus the Arcane Bolt. So. Uh, another death on him, but uh, is that a, is that I guess a reason why Secret should still be feeling okay about this game? If if you have to rely on defending uphill, I don't think you <laughs> ever feel okay. Of course you do have him, but even that, right? Like you see how easy these mines are to kill, and eventually, yeah. unless he has an Aghanim, I mean, he's not that scary. So once he gets Aghanims, then you will be. But look at the Skyrath damage. I know it's, it's he has so a good. veil, by the way. We didn't even mention that yet. But Dendi rushing the veil. On top of brown boots, so so much damage. And it's so good on middle Skyrath, because you build into it, right? You always want to get double null on that hero anyways, like hammer, quap, and then just naturally go into it now. <coughs> oh, yeah, is level six. So we still didn't see the blast up, by the way. Sorry, I mean, interrupt. Well, but no, it's that's just, a good point, it's actually. crazy. That's like, I, I believe, from what I've heard from, you know, the other NA pros or whatever, is that <laughs> blast up is his skill early game. That's the thing. And the fact we haven't seen Yapzor use it at all, it's just, it's different. Obviously. He's got a couple of green bombs down there at the bottom lane, so General keeping his distance, using the, the proximity mines to also push out the lane. Seems like Yapsters is kind of just taking over the bottom part of the map as far as that lane goes, you know, preventing Beastmaster from truly pushing that tier two tower and can, what you can do. He can do that. He can defend by himself, really. That, that makes it good, right? Ace can just go to the jungle, go to top lane, and Techies, he can just run a lane by himself, which is nice, because mm -hmm. you never know if you can dive and if your boat's just gonna die if you do that. Wraith King, Wraith King's in trouble, Primer War catches him, you see Odie attacking the Hawk at first, in comes that blast off, Yaps so not enough damage to deny himself in the end, so he goes down to the minions of General after the fact, the Wild Axes will cut down Wraith King as well, and now General, he actually might go for Odie, but with more support coming in, mid one, I don't think he's getting out of this, the Axes help cut him down, LeBron Dota technically credit for the last hit right there, Navi, a 5,000 net worth lead, 
at 13 minutes in and not be looking so good here. Yeah, they are. And I mean, obviously, there's still a lot of time to go, but we were talking about, like, while they were talking about the draft, we're like, this is a very VPS, like, kind of cocky draft. And obviously, I mean, Navi is still a Dota team. It's not like <laughs> yeah. some league team that just came in and is like, we don't know how to play. Navi, if you give them five very good heroes like they have, they're going to play it correctly. Well, something I'm noticing about this lineup, too, from Secret more and more, this, this goes back to Puppy jungling quite a bit. Techies taking over the... These are two support heroes, technically, that are trying to farm. Yeah. We don't see that ever. Usually, one, if not both supports are roaming around constantly, looking for kills, you know, truly supporting their cores. But it's almost seeming like Secret literally is trying to farm on all five heroes. Yeah, and which <laughs> can work if you don't have people getting picked up in the jungle every one or two minutes. But right now, Navi has complete control. They, they've taken two tier ones, the top and the bottom, which means they can just roam through the jungle whenever they want, both sides of the jungle. Yeah and Navi just has complete control of the map. <coughs> that's a book, that's almost a book, that's gonna be a 15 minute book three. That is, I mean, the Shadow Blade does nothing now, uh, pretty much. You're just gonna have Beastmaster running at you, one-shotting you, roar, minions. Dead. And the minions also finding the mines and everything too, yep. just another aspect of it. And yeah, level three is coming up as mentioned. See those green mines from Techie just going away quickly. So uh, there's all that time investment and everything. Just uh, going down the drain. It needs to be the biggest thing. I, I think you don't want to overcommit. Puppy is level six. Now, that can be scary, right? You, you commit a lot to him. He dies once. He's going to reincarnate. You do have to watch out for, like, the five, man. They're, they're going to come and save Puppy kind of thing and try to bait a bad fight from Navi. And I think if Navi's smart enough, they don't let that happen. Yeah. They, they just keep doing like this. Go two, three, four, man. Run at towers. Let Crystallize farm. And... He's been known. He's been known to just solo carry games, well, and he doesn't even have to. We saw him yesterday. I mean, in the losing effort against OG, Navi had some marks that were definitely somewhat impressive, and yep. Crystallize, I think, was the biggest thing, right? They, they built around oh. him. He farmed. Yeah, you see OD's being locked down here. Jesus. He has a casual hood of defiance, but it doesn't matter. The Mystic Flare melts him on top of Phantom Lancer. They also kill the Wraith King. Sure, he has Resurrection, but Puffy, I don't think he's getting away. He is going to get a double kill on Lil, and they go for the Tier 2 tower now. Uh, are we about to see a very early <laughs> game number one finish here for yeah. Navi? We might be. I was going to be like, a very early GG. Obviously, they have Techie, so they don't want to do that, but they, they could threaten Tier 3. They're going to. I was about to say, this is a very easy Tier 3. Obviously, they have the Hawk as well to scout out anything, like any liftoffs coming from random trees, but, well, all the creeps die, but still, c June will do a little bit, and they will defend both towers, top and bottom. I like that. They, they could maybe do more damage to the Tier 3, but why give up a tower in return? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, 16 minutes in, and the Radiant team still has no tower kill yet themselves. So, uh, sure, that's more gold to be made up if you're secret a way to look at it. But at the same time, again, much more understanding as why that uh, net worth lead is where it's at for Navi. Wraith King, uh, Helm of the Dominator is being worked on. They're going to find Slark right here now. He gets a Shadow Dance off. And Ace will manage to survive with that, but man, that was close. Dark Pack does take off Ancient Seal, not just stun. So, very, oh, good, very point, good actually, skill. Yeah, yeah he, got, he got it off there. It looked like it might be a kill, but... Dark Pact is still, I mean, Slark might not be the best hero, but Dark Pact is the best to spell for sure. Oh, and by the way, Crystallize, Diffuser Blade, Yasha, working on the Manta now. That's uh, coming up pretty quickly. We haven't really talked too much about that yet. <laughs> it's a support, support Wraith King. So until he's level 20, the reincarna reincarnation, no mana cost. He is, I don't even think he's ever going to use ult off if Beatsmaster or the uh, PL are gonna be there. Why would he get that though when he can get more skeletons, right? True. That, I, I still can't believe that. <laughs> I, I still wanna ask because it was earlier, who was it again? I it forget was, who I, played I the Wrath King earlier, and but they you did take that. The, the times two skeletons instead of the no reincarnation mana cost. Yeah. Oh, hello. That's a tier three being. <laughs> They're going tier three, 17 minutes in once again right now. Doom locked in with the proper war. He's gonna be imprisoned to, to save him initially, but Wrath King goes down and no more resurrection currently as it's still on cooldown oil level one. They're also gonna pick up Fata. Looks like no, he manages to run away with us. Scorch Earth, but mid one, different story. The mind just don't matter right now as they are just pushing as a team. Buyback oh. from OD already happening. Ace in the Shadow Dance, but he cannot go back in now. Without a Shadow Dance cooldown, there's no way he's feeling comfortable. So they're relying right now on Techies to do all that he can to prevent this tier three from going down. And that was almost a, a slick play by Ace, but a slicker play by LeBron. He should have been able to kill Little on the back lines, but uh, a nightmare at the very end of Dark Pack means he just couldn't touch the Slark. Or touch the IO, pardon Yeah, me. kill the IO in the end from Slark right there, but Navi keeps him alive. So, again, they back off ultimately, but that was a buyback on mid one. Like I was mentioning earlier, he went a casual hood of defiance, not so casual. It's almost like it's understandable why he went <laughs> because yeah, he was behind, to, yeah. but that is setting up for the tone of the game, right? Yep, that yep. on top of the buyback, OD is going to be insanely under farmed yep. for a while now. And they're going for Roche here, and it's, I mean, this is one of the freest Roches. You have a Beastmaster, you're up 10k, 18 minutes in. 
You're just getting a uh, erosion. You give it to crystallize. Now you actually have someone who can front line. There you go. A just picked up by Crystallize, as mentioned. I guess that Manta style is almost finished. Yeah. By the way, back to Beastmaster. He's going to have a full mech purchased, because wow. why not? Yeah, that's a, not mech's not I mean, item we see too often, but. I think because that's all techies. He, there's techies, you're going to get the initial mines. When you push uphill, guess what? Mech will neutralize it for the most part, and you're just right back in there with a wisp as well. So yeah. double mech on a couple. Those old important sentry wards up on Bane currently. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's a, that's a mine, and he's like, all right, I'll just run away. Pretty good strat. It's a vision down, gonna tank this one. That's that's a lot of life. <laughs> you, see, you see the damage that can come out if they manage to uh, miss it, but Beastmaster's on top of it. Take Should it out. Again. I'm, I'm intrigued to see how deep they go for this tier three. Well, uh, that's uh, that's a little awkward. He's already at half life. So again, the potential of the techies running into that stasis trap, but I know, you, you, you have the wisp plus Mac if they want to, but it's just going to be yep. There it there is, wisp Mac and he's full HP. That's the thing. The initial burst of techies mines is going to hurt, but Doom. Fata. He puts the two up on I. He's still tethered up though. They turn their attention onto the Doom now. Fanta trying to take that damage to walk it up. Oh my God, Ace is melting in the background to the Mystic Clary. He gets the shot on top barely, and he manages to walk it up and survive for now. Can he reset mid one? He ain't living through this. That's going to be a dieback most likely. Imprisonment will keep him alive just a little bit longer and delay what seems to be the inevitable. Yeah, Wraith King, of course, resurrects. He's coming back up. Techies just throwing in mines, doing what he can. But Puppy's going to die once again as well. Buyback from Techies. He dies right after. And they're down three heroes, getting their tier three pushed. Back no door. buybacks. Yeah, backdoor, but it's going to be off now. And Wisp bought back, or IO bought back as well. But luckily, guess what? He can just come right back to the fight now. He has to, you know, run the long way. He's middle, but. That's a melee racks down. That's it should be a full set if they really want, and looks like they will. You see the Prama Roar wasn't even used there either from the Beastmaster, so a big tool that apparently Navi didn't even need in that uh, engagement. So easy racks kill, they're up twelve thousand now worth now, twenty minutes in, and Navi just gonna reset and regroup, heal up, maybe even wait for another Roshan. Well no. I mean they still yeah, they, they don't need to at yeah. this point, but I, uh, Secret's doing this great. Well, you have to kill this IO to win the team fight. The problem was now that the new I mean not new changes, but the kind of older changes to buybacks is IO's just gonna buy back and he comes right back into the team fight and, and what are you gonna do about it? You can't kill him twice. Yeah. You have to use Slark's ulti to get the kill once and then you're kind of SOL after that. Is it surprising to you to see Secret still in this game, you think? Not, not, not saying that they should be conceding, I, but again, there's it's game number one of a best of three. They clearly are running a trial draft yeah. of sorts, I think it's safe to say. It, they're seeing what they can do with this, right? Like, even, I'm sure they, they've scrimmed with techies. I don't want to say they have, but I'm sure they, they probably have in the past, and they're still trying to see what this hero can do. Okay. Like, not just in laning phase, but also during this middle to late game. Oh, well, they are definitely... Holding on here in Doom. That's being pointed out. He does have a Crimson card, so that's uh, quite the quite the effective item. Um, it's also, you know, obviously it, it affects buildings as well. So there's another benefit. Ooh, they want to take. They're, they're going to. This is a kind. <laughs> Come to us, pub, please. Why, yeah, it is. You're, you're going to see maybe some bait going over there, but I'm sure Nobby's like, okay, where has Yapsor been besides defending top? He has to have another group somewhere, and well, oh, uh, well, they fall for it. Uh, it would be funny if they just kill all these and then they they GG because this they feels like they're one time. Yep, and look at everything's gonna die. Exactly. Well, yeah, that's fun. that. It was. I mean, it's understandable again. Secret trying to make the big play as you were pointing out, but Navi, they're they're a little bit too uh, too smart for that. So. Not gonna fall for it. They're going to the base. Echo Saber just purchased by Slark. Remember the lack of buybacks as well for the Radiant side. So here we go. Could be a bit of a last stand. Crimson Car gonna be activated in defense. Fanta, he put his Doom up on Skyrath actually. So missing out on some damage on the side of Navi. Geno throws out that Primer Ward. Didn't need a last fight. Throwing out early this fight. Relocate out. Uh, not the most distance though. They're still here. <laughs> just a uh, couple of feet behind. Phantom Lancer. Remember he still has the Aegis. Getting low on Crystallize. He takes it out. He's for another dieback. Crystallize may end up going down, but the Doppelganger actually keeps him alive. They're going to go for the Raiden Man. They're now, and Gigi's okay. just called. Just just get out of this game. Says Secret. All right. The trial draft is uh, I mean, it, not it, so effective. Yeah, it, it was a clear out draft, but you know, I I, I wonder who's going to do it. Is it going to be is it gonna be Red Eye or uh, Kyle who destroyed <laughs> Catalyst? Because he was the one saying, you know, it's, it's just secret. secret completely out classes, but. If you draft that poor, I'm just gonna say, I mean, it was a, it was a poor draft by it. Secret. Yeah, it was a poor draft by Secret, and Navi is a Dota team, and they're gonna beat that. Uh, it's simple.